Okay, uh, so now let's talk about data warehouse. Uh, so data warehouse is a central repository for the structured data from many data resources. Uh, so keep in mind that data warehouse can only support structured data. Okay, so that is kind of a, uh, one limitation of data warehouse. Uh, for database, they now support structured and also assign my structured data. Okay, so for some structured data like relational database, uh, some structured data, struct data like um, non SQL non SQL database, and those non SQL database like document DB, uh, um, and also a network database, etc. And data warehouse receive data from different data resources and the data that should be transformed, aggregated, and also prepared for business reporting or analysis. So this chart shows that how, um, why do we need data warehouse? So as we said earlier, so in, um, if, you are really, if you are using the normal database, so they may not be powerful enough to analyze, to to perform those uh, complicated queries. So the way we use data warehouse is that uh, we, we integrate and also transform and also aggregate data from multiple data resources. And those data will go through this ETL process. Again, we'll talk this one uh, tomorrow. So that the data will are cleaned, transformed and also aggregated and also maintained in this uh, data warehouse uh, following the structured format. And now the data warehouse can support your weekly or daily reporting. Or you can even transform that into other databases. So for example, if you have a database that is dedicated for OLAP and also for data mining, data visualization, etc. Okay, so data warehouse is simply the central repository for the structured data. Uh, the solution, the one example of the data warehouse or one solution of the data warehouse is called Redshift on Amazon, so on, on AWS. Um, so the Redshift is a relational data warehouse. So that means you can use SQL to make queries or you can use any other BI analytical tools like Tableau or QuickSight. Uh, to and to query the data, it is a massive parallel, and also you can uh, can be scaled to the petabyte data. <coughs> it is fully managed, so it is in a cloud. You don't need to set up the servers, etc. Um, uh, and also, it is auto automatically deployed in multiple AZ zones. So. And also, you can deploy that in multiple regions, so you can you don't need to worry about the failover. And you can choose different platforms. So if you want a faster uh, query performance, you can choose SSD, which will be more expensive, or you can choose HHD. Okay, so which is uh, uh, a a cheaper, little bit cheaper. And this price uh, was a price that I think. Um, in 20, 2018, so the price may not be true uh, now. Uh, and also, um, Redshift is using the column indexing system, okay? So, uh, because that is suitable for the OLAP. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the structure of the, uh, the Redshift. So, Redshift is a, in the cluster of the uh, databases. Um, so this is Redshift. So basically, it has a uh, multiple instance instances of multiple um, um, computers. So it has a leader instance, or sometimes all we call the leader node. Okay, and it has multiple computer nodes. Okay, one leader node and also multiple computer nodes. So the leader node. Is a is a primary contact of the data warehouse that can receive 
the queries from the SQL client like SQL editor or from the BI tools like QuickSight or Tableau. And once it receives the queries from the uh, from the users and it will analyze and also it will configure that okay so send out the queries to the computer node. The computer node are using the column storage and they will execute the queries in parallel. Okay and uh, so they will do the queries in the parallel so that that is why that it is more powerful than those most uh, relational database. Remember that in relational database we do have clusters but the clusters are simply that uh, we have a primary cluster and also secondary clusters. So when we receive the queries each single instance we are just run the queries. Um, and if the primary field the other secondary the other secondary instance will become the primary and to receive the queries. However, in the Redshift, all the computer node will run the queries in parallel. Okay, so that so so they will run the do part of the job and they will, they will return the result together. Okay, to the uh, to the leader node and the leader node will return the aggregate result to the client. Okay, so leader node uh, is the SQL endpoint and it stores the metadata. So that means they know that which computer node contain which information and they coordinate those queries. The computer node contain the data by using those column indexing storage. And they execute the queries in a parallel. Okay, and they load backup and store data via the S3. So remember S3 is a data lake. So we will talk that one tomorrow. And they also can load data from the DynamoDB or the EMR. So EMI, we will talk that one tomorrow. Again, there are two hardware platforms uh, so that are optimized for the data processing. So it, you can use SSD, uh, which is more expensive, or you can use HHD, which is uh, is cheaper, but can provide you uh, more data storage. Okay, so that is a Redshift. Right